All right. So in this next video, we're going to attempt to do a touch and go over stay and go over park it. So um, touch is just where Moose comes and does a little nose bump to your palm. So um, he's getting really good at it. And uh, it's something that would be nice. Like if you were just standing with him, right? Maybe he's in a stay, you could do a little touch. If you took him out on a patio, you can do a little touch under the table. It's also another way to call him to come. I think he wants to nap so much. I may have picked the wrong time. This may be a, you know, our morning nap time happening here. So we'll start out. We'll see if we can get Moose to touch. Moose, touch. Moose, good boy, touch. Moose, touch. Yes. So let me reward you. I yes, him, so I want to reward him. I would like a little better contact than that. Moose, touch. Yes. Good. I can also um, say, okay, Moose, okay. Let him go get the tree and bring him back over with touch. Touch. Yes. Okay, go get it. Being clear about giving him permission since we just worked on the leave it. Moose, touch. Yes, good job, Moosers. Oh, that one. Good, he got it. Moose, touch. Yeah, touch. Oh, yes. Good job, Moose. Good job, buddy. Good. Good boy. Okay. So um, the next we'll go into stay, which I think he'll like because I think he wants to lay down, take a little nappy poo. Moose, sit. Good boy. Down. Put him in a down because he's going to end up there anyway. Now on stay, I'm going to put my hand up so it's almost like a stop sign. A little band-aid on my hand. Moose, watch me. Who stay. So palm up and then I'm going to walk around. So now I'm adding in distractions. So if I was out in public with him, I'm not going to be doing all the walking around and moving. I would probably just be right here saying stay, rewarding him, doing watch me. Good boy, stay. I can add in little distractions. He <coughs> likes this guy. Stay. Moves. I'm gonna reward him while he's staying. So this is where he gets the reward. Good moves. When the stay is over, I'm gonna pat my leg and release him. So as you're working with him on stay, you can always be adding in more distance, right? How far you can go. You can add in more distractions and that might be what you're doing. It might be people walking by, tossing a toy, other animals, or kids or whatever's in your environment um, and then your duration you know can he hold a 10 second stay or can he hold a 10 minute stay um, depending on again what else is going on in your environment it's going to depend on how well he can do all that good boy okay moose good go get it I'll let him have that so now I'll just park it that he has been working on <laughs> so loud when we do target, I'm going to move my mat out. Why did I pick that toy? Okay, just drop it. Thank you. Okay, so on parking, I'm going to move the mat from wherever it's at. I can move it over three feet, but by moving it, it's cueing him that we're going to work on park it. So it will help him understand uh, what's about to happen and just get him a little more in you know, ready to go work on his park it. Moose, come. Moose, come. Good boy. Moose, watch me. Moose, go park it. Uh-uh, park it. Good boy. Good, yes. So we've been working on a little more distance, so I will show you that 